All right, Austin. So the first one, obviously, we can see the answer already, but the other ones, hopefully, we'll yeah. be able to see. Okay. All right. So, anyways, wind turbine has power output P when the wind speed is V. The efficiency of the wind turbine does not change. What's what is the wind speed at which the power output is P over two? So, power is proportional to velocity Q, right? Yes, it's because it's one half mm -hmm. density times area, which is pi r squared of the wind turbine and um, v cubed. Yep. So uh -huh. if you have everything. So then if power then is half, that would mean that v cubed would need to half. So v cubed over half is the same as v over v cube root of two. V cubed over Right. Yes. Wait. Uh, one second. X plus two. Yep. Cube root over two. Yeah. Or cube root of two. Yeah. That's the same as saying v over cube root of two. V over cube root two. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. Next one. So, which of the following is equal to specific energy of a fuel over energy density? Oh. So specific energy is energy per volume. Yep. So that should be half of right? Joules per energy over volume. Or energy energy density is energy over oh sorry, energy over mass, specific density. Energy over mass. And energy density is energy over volume, right? Yes. Okay. No, uh, then, energy. Yes, energy density is uh, energy. Over yeah, energy. whenever I hear specific, I just think mass. It's the same with specific mm -hmm. heat and specific uh, latent heat, or, yeah. right? So this is going to be V over M, right? Yep. So, so this will be one over the density because density is mass over volume, right? Yep, exactly. So V, I would say. Good. Okay. Sorry. Uh, which of the following correctly shows the energy change in a photovoltaic cell and in a solar heating cell? So photovoltaics, they use photons to create a potential difference. So that is solar energy into electrical for photovoltaic. So it's either A and C, and then solar heating goes from solar directly to thermal because it just heats up the water. Yeah. Perfect. See, and this is this is like some like it, sometimes there there's teachers who are saying that photovoltaic cells are also solar panels so it's like mm -hmm. it's weird you know it's like the active solar heater like they the way that the, the, the that ivy uses the word solar panel is a little bit confusing um mm -hmm. but yeah here because they said solar heating panel like you should it's like one of those active solar heaters okay anyways the rate of global warming might be reduced by mm -hmm. So a replacing seem... oil on oil with natural gas would that doesn't would really seem to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> a reduction in albedo, meaning uh, less is reflected, that wouldn't work either. That would only make it worse, right? Because yeah. yeah, reduction in carbon fixation. Carbon fixation is what plants do uh, when they can they absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen. So if you reduce carbon fixation then you have more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Okay, yeah. So that doesn't seem to help either. But then- and Increase in deforestation. That doesn't seem to help either because if you increase deforestation, then you don't have carbon sinks as much. Mm -hmm. hmm. Is natural gas better somehow? I know coal, coal, coal is the most inefficient and the most kind of uh, it's also yeah, it's, uh, it's the source expensive. that releases the most. What's it called? Particulate, particulates. Uh, okay. So maybe A might be. I don't know, but because reduction in Earth's albedo would mean albedo is ref, the percentage of or the ratio of light reflected, right? Mm -hmm. Over incident. So if you reduce yeah. that, that means more light is being absorbed. Oh, Earth's albedo. Oh no, no, no never mind. Still, that that still doesn't. I was thinking of that. I, I, I do think natural gas is like the cleaner. Probably. Cleanest. So maybe A then. I would Possibly. go with A if nothing else, because I don't think the other ones make sense. Yeah. It is A. Yeah. Okay. 
three of the four were incorrect, only one. Carbon capture and carbon fixation was not relevant. Okay, yeah. So it is, I think that that is it. The natural gas is a bit cleaner. The energy source that currently provides the greatest proportion of the world's total energy demand is? See, I don't know these <laughs> these types of questions. Like, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> physics. Yeah, this exactly. This doesn't seem like physics. Um, I would probably go with coal. I don't know. I feel like that's oil. just the United States. Though. I know oil does it all the pretty much all the transportation industry. So yes, but coal also powers railroads, which actually aren't as important anymore. Uh, we can look it up. What yeah what powers boats? But because boats are a big thing in terms of like the world's infrastructure. I think this is one of those facts you just have to know for the exam. And if you don't know it, it's like a point missed. And I, I, I'd be, I'd be willing to miss that point in a jiffy. Um, energy source by the greatest proportion. It's oil, I think. Diesel, oil. yeah. Diesel, okay. Oil. It's B, yeah. I, that's just, we just have to remember that. Okay. Three gases in the carbon, uh, in the atmosphere are CO2 and 2O and oxygen. Which of these are considered to be greenhouse gases? I think one definitely and three probably. Is uh, N2O a greenhouse gas? I don't think oxygen is a greenhouse gas because there's such a big portion of it and nobody ever really talks about it as causing an issue, so. Hmm. Because so, since it's diatomic, it doesn't really have like the ability to like vibrate, you know, so it can't really absorb really? a lot. Wait, so wait, so diatomic molecules don't vibrate? Or because since they don't have three different like points of like vibrating, oh, I would assume okay. that. But ozone, okay, I see what you're saying. Ozone is O3. Um, so are do you think it's one and two only then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It is a yeah. Okay, so basically, so is there like a list of greenhouse gases that we need to know? Oh. So, I, I, so I know, like the ones I remember are methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. I don't know what else. Nitrous oxide, this is, is this nitrous oxide? Yeah, they, the official name is dinitrous nitrous oxide. Um, I think those two were. So oxygen isn't a greenhouse gas, but water vapor is, right? And ozone is also a greenhouse gas, right? Yeah. Okay. Now that's a good way of remembering it. Like if you have the more, if it's only diatomic, then it's less like likely to. It's like having like a pencil. It can't really like vibrate up and down it's because it's just a line. Sure, versus sure. The versus more dimensions you have to vibrate, the more like, the more likely it is that it will vibrate. Versus like that. If you have three right. molecules, it can do kind of mm -hmm. this sort of thing. Got it. Yes, yes, yes. You have that extra dimension. Makes sense. It's suggested that the solar power incident at a point on Earth's surface depends on the that uh, sun's power output is roughly the same. I would think, right? Yeah, yes. because like I, I would say the only difference would be like sunspots and like maybe uh, solar flares, but that's but yeah, it doesn't seem to be. I don't think it'll make a huge difference. Like, yeah, yeah. Location of the point. That Earth is so small in comparison, right? So, but latitude oh, but effects as you go, yeah, closer to the equator. curvature, right? So, I think I, I think two and is two and three an answer. Yeah, uh, I yeah. would probably go with two and three. Mm -hmm. No, it's one two. So, it, daily variations do, does affect. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess, yeah, that, that's that's a technicality, I guess. The first option, there, there we go. Let's see let's see what they say. The first option concerning the daily output of the sun's power caused some confusion. The question does not ask whether such variations occur. They do, but rather whether they would lead to a change in power incident upon the Earth. Wait, so how does that explain? But rather whether they would lead to a change. Hmm. Okay. I'm searching up, does the sun's power output change during the day? I mean, it just says that over time, the sun's power output gets lighter every day because the sun's less of the sun. But I don't know. 
what does it mean by daily variations in the sun's power output? Like, is that what you were saying about like sun, solar flares and sunspots and stuff? Yeah, I think so. Maybe also like rotating the rotating Earth, and also seasons we get a bit farther away. I mean, that's not daily, but okay, makes sense. Yeah, like an elliptical yes. orbit would could cause that as well. Okay. Black body has Kelvin temperature T, surface area A. The total power rated by the body is P. What's the new power rated when T is doubled and A is half? Okay, so what's Stefan Boltzmann? P equals uh, sigma A T to the four, right? A T to the, yes, yeah. Okay, let me write that down. P equals sigma A T to the four. Uh, T is doubled, right? So then we get two to the four. That's 16. And then A oh, half. Factor of 16. So 16 over two, factor of eight. So eight T, I think. Mm -hmm. yep. okay. In a wind generator, the kinetic energy of the wind cannot be completely converted into mechanical kinetic energy. This is because. Uh, so one thing winds can like pass some of the power is lost as the wind goes through the yes because the air yeah. molecules are not completely like it's not the wind is completely being right there's mm -hmm. wind that actually goes through so um i think the answer would be c because they can't be completely brought to rest in collision well, that makes me think if you were to create a turbine with like a hundred like as a perfect circle of just a bunch of propellers would that cause it to be more efficient. I guess it would take a lot more. I'm sure they've tested it because otherwise like yeah. that would that would save a lot. I, I guess the it's about it's it's like finding a balance, right? You want to balance being able to actually turn the thing, but also be able to extract as much. So because if you just put a circle like then theoretically speaking it should be just a just a disc should be best, right? Mm -hmm. But then if you just put a disc there, it's not going to turn. So it's yeah. it's a delicate balance. Um, I don't know. I'm sure you could do testing and figure out what actually works better. But mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, for this one, I think the answer is C. Yep, as we said. Um, in the production of electric power, an advantage of using photovoltaic cells rather than fossil fuels is that the photovoltaic cells um, are more environmentally uh, friendly. That seems like yes. Easy to option to pick. Yeah. The energy density of a substance can be calculated by multiplying its specific energy with which quantity. Okay, this is units. It's like a unit problem. Or a kilogram. So energy density is something to get. Energy density is energy over volume. And specific energy is energy over mass. So if we what do we need to multiply this? We need to multiply this mass over volume, right? So it becomes energy volume. So multiply by density, normal. Yeah, density. normal density. Yep. Yep. But this is just like, you know how we said, like when we do Q equals M cat and it's like, you know, just like specific heat versus normal heat capacity. Essentially the same thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, uranium nuclear fission reactor that attempts to operate without a moderator would. Whoa. Moderator is that fluid that, or not not fluid, but it's the thing that the neutrons bump into to slow it down, right? Oh, yeah, it would produce very little energy then, since neutrons have to slow down to some extent to actually be able to hit the hit new hit, collide into the nuclei. Hmm. Yeah, and then the control rods if if there weren't control rods, then there would be too much energy, right? Too much energy. Okay. Um, so I would think, yeah, I think D makes sense. Yeah. Yep. D. Okay. In the production of energy from nuclear fission, fuel enrichment means increasing the amount of? Fuel enrichment. 235. 235. Is, that's what I remember. But I also remember something about, that's what I would pick. I would go with C, but I also remember something about plutonium, they said. Like, what, what did they say about plutonium? Plutonium uh, is what's plutonium produced Plutonium is usually the result, result I, would, yeah. I think. C, yeah. But sometimes they can refine, but so, some, a few rare reactors, they add a neutron to uranium-238 to make it, plut or add a proton to make it plutonium-239, uh, and then that is, that can also be used as fuel. Okay. 
but it's not as common. Yeah. Also, how how many more of these do you want to do? Because there's a whole like you can I don't know if you can see the sidebar, but there's a lot of multiple choice questions. How many have we done? I, I don't know. Like we've probably usually what we do is, is 30 minutes multiple choice, and then we do 30 minutes for the pre response. But we can mm -hmm. do any combination, whatever you prefer. Um. Do you want to go till 4.30 to multiple choice? Sure. Okay. Diagram shows a simple climate model. So you have incoming solar energy. Some of it's absorbed by atmosphere. Some of it's absorbed by the surface of the earth. Some of it's reflected by the atmosphere. Some of it's reflected by clouds. And some of it's reflected by the surface. Okay. So we, we need to find albedo. So albedo is reflected over absorbed. So whatever the earth we need to remember what is the earth absorbing oh so this doesn't count clouds and atmosphere i don't think so wait actually it might because in some cases people consider the atmosphere to be a part of the earth right oh. so i see i see i think it says this is a climate model for earth so probably we should do that we should probably say what total what's reflected which is Six plus twenty plus four, four over nineteen plus fifty one, right? Thirty over. Oh, I thought it's albedo is reflected over total. Incident, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be a hundred. Yeah. Six plus twenty plus four over a hundred. Which so is thirty point three. So what would be the other way of doing it? Um if it were just the surface, it would be four, four over 100. So 0 0.04. Over 100 or over what's just oh, absorbed? Oh, yeah, right, over, right? over. See, that's what I, I wasn't sure. Incoming solar. Or it would, maybe it would be 100 minus 6 and minus 20. So 4 over 100 minus 6 minus 20. I see. Okay, I think that would that would probably be too complicated. That would make make sense, especially. Yeah, that would be too complicated. Point three zero eight. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what is the purpose of the moderator? To slow down fast moving returns, right? Can we go over go back go back to like a diagram of a nuclear reactor? I just need to remember. Yeah, that. I think that would help. Yeah, that would definitely help. Um, I'll be right back also. Sure. Thanks, sure. Okay. Um, that is, okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay. So we have the reactor here and the control rods of the reactor vessel and all of this inside of here is the moderator right? and um then you have the, essentially that creates heat and that heat is transferred to the whatever this is what coolant is that? is that the coolant or the coolant is the fluid see this is why i was, a little, I, I was I'm, I'm always a little bit confused by this i think the coolant is the fluid that runs through here Oh, this okay. cool. I know maybe this is the coolant. This is what because I know about. that in one of the diagrams, the coolant, the coolant moderator, and energy I don't know, whatever it was, all three of them were water. So, that makes oh, sense. The, the pressurized water reactor, yeah. I don't know. Um, 
maybe we should just search up pressurized water reactor because I think like all the diagrams I've seen, they're all related to that. So maybe pressurized water reactor. The fuel elements control rods. Um, pressurizer. These are very complicated diagrams. I think the study guide actually had a more simplified diagram. Yeah. On the Schoology page. That's on Schoology. My keyboard's not working. Or my. Yeah, I found the I found the diagram. Uh, All right, here sure. should be. Yeah, chapter eight study guide. Okay. Oh, uh, it says you're disabled screen sharing. Oh my gosh, because I switched back to my old one. There you go. Yeah. Gosh. There it is. Okay. So the fuel rods, control rods. Okay, so. You have the fuel rods, uh, control rods balancing the reaction. Yeah. While the moderator slows down the neutrons that hit the fuel rods. The moderator is that fluid inside. Or yeah. not fluid, but whatever it is. And then that fluid travels, which is just hot water, to the pressurizer. What does the pressurizer do exactly? Um, hmm. Does it like make it flow? I guess it makes it flow faster. Maybe. And then it goes into the heat exchange where it heats up the other circuit of water. And then the pump essentially makes the, keeps the whole thing moving and put, put, puts it back into the reactor. While the secondary circuit, that water heats up, goes to the turbines, the pump brings it back after cooling. After that water ex exits in those like big- um, Yeah, yeah, the cooling towers. Yeah, tunnels, wind tunnels. Yeah, okay. I think that's a little simpler to understand. Okay. Yeah, that one I think definitely that diagram simplifies a lot. So okay. So what's the coolant? What the coolant is the water, right? That the coolant is what's doing the cooling or is being cooled? I think it's doing the cooling, but it's also carrying the energy to the steam that needs to get boiled to okay. run the reactor. Okay. Because if you think about it, basically everything's a coolant because everything's yeah. really covered on the. Okay. So, so this was, as we said, B, go down again. So, natural gas power station has an output of 600 megawatts with <laughs> efficiency of 50%. The mass of natural gas that is burning per second is 20 kilograms. What's the energy density of natural gas? So, 600 megawatts is equal to 6. 100 times 10 to the 6 joules per second. Isn't this specific energy? Which one? Oh, yeah. Oh, the units are asking for specific energy. Energy density. Energy density is energy over volume, though, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. I think they mix, I, I, I think they kind of freely mix up the words, but I guess yeah. that's. Yeah, I think they mixed it up. Yeah, that's okay. So if it's 600 megawatts out and it's an efficiency of 50%, that means in, in was would be a lot greater. And 1200 be megawatts. So 1200 joules per second in. Right? Because it's half, if it's half efficiency. That means you have to have 1200 joules in, joules per second in. Then the amount of natural gas that's burned per second is 
20 kilograms per second. So we want 20 kilograms, kilograms per, per second. second. Seconds so you cancel. would flip that, do yeah. one over that, right? Yes, exactly. So uh, that means times one second over 20 kilograms. So canceling that out, it's 1,200 1, over 20 mega. times 10 to the power of six, which is 60 times 10 to the power of six joules per kilogram. Is that e? a, yeah, 60 megajoules per kilogram. Yep. All right, do you want to try some free response now? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay. Uh, is it, if, if, we, if there's like a PDF or something, I can like export it onto my iPad and then and then like uh, okay. actually open it um, in readability so I can like work through it okay. on the paper itself. PDF out. would be easier. All right, let me try sending. I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this Zoom a Zoom meeting, uh, and then it'll end the recording as well because of the, the forty minute limit, and then just restart. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And I'll send you the PDF. Okay.